Dragon Ball Super, episode 56. Dude! What the fuck was that? Dude, oh my god. I knew it was going to be a good episode. I knew it was. But I didn't know what the fuck was going to happen, dude. Oh my god. Okay. All I gotta say is, Black, you're becoming one of my most favorite villains in DBZ. Scratch that. In DB, the entire fucking series. Like, it's the way that he carries himself. That, that he's superior to all humans. And as in humans, he means, you know, like, not just humans in general, but Negan. And Negan means mortals. So everyone in the universe who's not a god. But dude, oh my fucking dude. With the way it's the way he fucking oh my god. I'll get to it later. So after the missiles, you know, weren't like of course they won't do of course the missiles weren't gonna do anything to Goku. But in in typical Toriyama fashion, we get some funny moments. We've seen Trunks and all the rest of the with resistance. Him going, like him reuniting with my, which was a fucking heart warming moment. And it still is my OTP for them. Hopefully, there'll be a couple after this um, saga ends. And yeah, because like, I like the chemistry game, my and Trunks. And if you have watched. Okay, I'll get this one on one video about how old is mine, and you know that, that she's probably at the same age as Trunks. Which is good. So, yeah. But Vegeta, dude. Vegeta's episode. You know, like, it shows more that he's, you know, really fucking changed. I, I probably said this a lot during my fucking you know, reviews, but, like, Vegeta, he's really changed a lot. He's like, he's like, he's really not the same cold hearted guy he was back in DBZ. He. He's not. You see him there smiling. I like Trunk being a hero, smiling, and telling such you know, stay back. Let me and Kaka right handle this. You have a girl with you, so stay with her. Like, come on, like that is, oh man. But how they? Oh my god, the fucking black man, fucking black Goku. How, like, how he just fucking dusted, he, look, look at this fucking appear out of the fucking smoke in the clouds. And uh, Vegeta instantly goes blue. He starts to fight him. And he's taking, like, he's, like, he's eating those punches. But he's smiling. What in the fuck? The nigga is smiling, taking the punches. Like, possibly unscathed. Kicking Vegeta right in the fucking gut, sending him flying back to the fucking direction he, where he came from. And that transformation, though, the fucking, ah, oh, Super Saiyan Rose, or Rose. I I'd, I'd say, of course, like, it was, come on, it's pink. It's pink. But the aura around it, the aura is just fucking black. And sinister looking. It fuses his dark aura with this rose reddish type of color. And it's fucking brilliant. And of course, if you haven't, you know, if you don't know what it symbolizes, it means death in Japanese. What she fucking <laughs> displayed when he uses fucking arm sorting to cut the cheetah right in the goddamn chest. Stomach. Wherever he's starting him at, like, oh my god, dude! And the, and the, and the way that they animated him in this episode was fucking fantastic. Fucking fantastic, man. Toei, you can have another clap. Have another clap, Toei, because you deserve that one after this fucking episode, man. And the way, the music, Sumitomo, put it in some work, dude. He's put it in some work. Goku, and Goku, he's just going right to blue, fighting him. 
and he's outclassed. Because Trunks was saying, like, oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah, well, they're even match. And she said, no, they're not. Rose Black is stronger than, than both Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. What the fuck? How do you, like, and he became even more powerful by, by, with a feeling, by, well, by beating the Vegeta. And the fucking heavens, the fucking heavens open up and you see Zamasu. Zamasu! Calm down like a fucking angel. Dude! Brilliant. Excellent episode talking about Superman. I can't wait to see Trunks vs. Zamasu. Because then the episode says, Advent of the Immortal God Zamasu. The Immortal God. Oh, dude. Dude. Trunks doesn't stand a chance against fucking Zamasu now. If he's having that title, man, you know he don't give him. But you know he ain't gonna give Trunks no chances. But I know that Machida, the with a prince, is not out of fight yet. He can't be out of fight yet. Look, I think that when Goku and Black will wear themselves out, Black will get the upper hand. I'm ho- I'm wondering if Goku will use his Kaioken. Because, yeah, that would be helpful, but knowing Black's ability, his battle memory, he might use that fucking ability too. And then we'll all be fucked. And I, and I really hope that, that, that they don't, you know, resort to using that fucking button that, that Zeno gave him. Because, like, you know, like, it's with Cheetah and Goku and Frick's fight, not Zeno's. Dude, fucking brilliant episode talking about Superman. One of the best episodes in a while. And I'm ready to see what the fuck is Zamatsu doing there. Is it the future Zamatsu or is it our Zamatsu from the present? It's, it's, it's probably the futures. And they aren't the same fucking person. What the fuck bullshit is that, man? I'm so fucking... Oh, the, the hype. The fucking... Oh, my God. Okay, I'm done. Like, comment... Tell me you're talking about this episode of Loka. I would love to hear them after this fucking phenomenal fucking uh, episode. And subscribe to the channel for more reviews like this right here. Cause I will be having more reviews out hopefully every week since school starting tomorrow. I will probably be slowing down my uploads. But bear with me, please. So, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day. Like, I really guys live, dude. This episode of Dragon Ball Superman was fucking just. Mm. Hopefully we might see Super Saiyan for Cheeto. Probably, probably not. Let's find out. Bye.